Hey guys, and welcome back to another card review. So today we are looking at a new Beals. Yes, you know how we were all complaining about Beals coming out when he first came out. We we're like, oh my god, he's so powerful, he's so broken. But then, of course, synchroing's not really a big thing, and uh, you know, it just kind of fell off. I mean, he's still a really good card for decks that can synchro. He's a really good card, but we have cards that can answer him fairly easily, especially with access into the extra deck. You know. You, you always have access to that, therefore, you know, snatching up your opponent's bills with the 101 or bouncing it, returning it back to extra deck with a Castell, you know, bills is just having a hard time. So, uh, Konami decided to go ahead and make another bills. So, this is Beelzus of the Ultimate Diabolic Dragons. It's a dark dragon synchro effect, level 10, with 4,000 attack and 4,000 defense. So, level 10, 4,000 attack, 4,000 defense, you can summon this, it could, it could kill a killer, it's a killer, it's a killer killer. <laughs> if you can, if you can summon it, because you would know you would drop down to 35, but you would still be strong enough to kill a killer. Anyway, its materials are one dark tuner and two or more non-tuner monsters, okay, so, I guess I could kind of make it in my Doom Shaman deck if I have Tinker and two, like, Armageddon Knights or two Dark Refers or something. But, yeah, let's go ahead and just look at its effect. So, just like Bills, card cannot be destroyed by battle, a battle or by card effect. Like you're going to run over a fucking 4,000 beater. Like, hello? So, at least it still can't be destroyed by card effect. Too bad destruction right now in the game is not that good. You know, people are taking out Bottomless. People are taking out Torrental. People are definitely taking out Dark Hole. You know, Fire and Ice Hand aren't doing this hot. You know, they're just completely just taking out uh, cards that destroy, so I seriously doubt someone will get rid of this guy by destroying him. Let's sort of move on with this other fact. So, other monsters you control cannot attack. Okay, so you make Beals harder to make, you make them just a little bit stronger in attack and defense, and now all of a sudden all my other monsters can attack? Like, you literally took Beals and Malefic Cyber M and then just went mm, together. Like, why? Why did you do that? Like, if I worked this hard to get this guy out, then why the hell can none of my other monsters attack? It's kind of dumb. It's not as easy as Malefic Sabre and just go banish summon, you know? This guy, I actually had to use resources. I neg two on summon. A minimum neg two, because I use my tuner and at least two uh, non-tuner monsters. So that's three monsters to make this guy. I neg two, so can I at least get a better bang for my buck than no other monsters can attack? Alright, so, just like, uh... How people deal with uh, uh, Malefic Sabarin, you know, they'll just probably just keep setting cards and keep setting cards until, uh, you know, finally uh, you know, they figure out some way to take it out. But of course, remember, this guy is level 10, so if you're going to try to devote a deck to this guy and try to pull it off, then I definitely, definitely recommend watching the first episode of a card review <laughs> and uh, maybe putting Mound of Bound Creator because he's level 10. That way you can pretty much have him be invincible. That way he won't, he can't be destroyed by battle, he can't be destroyed by card effects, he can't be targeted, he cannot, you know. So, yeah, I definitely recommend it because right now, looking at it, he has the same damn weaknesses that Beals has. Let's move on with this effect. Once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls. It attack, its attack becomes zero, and if it does, you gain life points equal to that monster's original attack. Also, any battle damage this card inflicts to your opponent is halved. Okay, so I guess to prevent you from just straight up just destroying somebody just by going, okay, uh, effect, you're down to zero, I gain it, I attack, you take 4,000 next turn, use my effect again, you're zero, attack, you take 4,000 GG. But once again, if I'm going to go through all this work to get this guy out, why? It literally looks like... It's, it feels like Konami regrets making Beals, and they wanted to redeem themselves and making another Beals, and then nerfing the hell out of him. That's literally what it feels like. Now, Beals didn't have these restrictions, and Beals, the original Beals, is much easier to get out. You know, this card is harder to get out, has much more restrictions than Beals, and still has the same damn weaknesses. You should have at least made it like it can't be targeted or something, but no, same damn weaknesses. Same Frickin' weaknesses. You whip out Beals, Castell, back to Amstrad, 101, give me that. You whip out Beals, Castell, put it back, 101, give me that. Like, it's the same thing. Still, 
affected by trap cards. You could at least said that he can't be destroyed by battle card effects and unaffected by trap cards. Like, come on. You know, get that deep present. Get that compulse. You know? But, no. It's the same damn card. It's just feels, but harder to make and not as good, in my opinion. Not as good. I work harder to summon this guy than the original builds just for an additional 1,000 attack. Like, okay. The whole... The whole, like, you target your opponent's monster, their attack becomes zero, and then you gain the life points? Eh? Life points don't mean shit, you know? You should have, they should have made it burn. They should have reversed it. Like, you target your opponent's monster, their attack becomes zero, they get burned for, you know, like, half the damage of their original attack, and then you inflict half the damage this turn, you know? Something like that. But, no, you know? Like, ooh, I'm gaining life points every time. I cut, I put you to zero, and then I gain your life points. Ooh, look, I have more life points. I still got this 4,000 beater on the field. You know, what? By increasing my life points to unexpound amounts with this card, I win? No. The objective is to reduce your opponent's life points to zero, and clearly this guy doesn't help, because even if you use an effect, you only do half the damage to your opponent this turn. You know, just any battle damage. It's just okay. I'm, 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 I just don't like it. I don't, I don't, I don't see the point of this card. I don't understand why this card was made. We had Beals, and then Konami just, just tried to redeem themselves with Beals. I'm just not impressed by this card, not even remotely. Ah, <sighs> it's hard to get out. He's not as good. I guess there's only redeeming factors. I guess you can kill Killer, but yeah. <laughs> All right. So tell me what you guys think about. Builds us of the ultimate diabolic dragons. So, uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Carver. You know, I said I gave my opinion of them. So, uh, I will be back Thursday with another synchro to look at, looking at another synchro monster. So, uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys next Thursday with another card to look at. Thanks for watching.